The number of cars on the road is given by the equation n squared equals 169. So let's solve for n. When we have an equation and we're told to solve, we need to solve for that variable n by getting it completely by itself isolated on one side of the equal sign. Well, right now it's not by itself, it's being squared. So we need to do the opposite or inverse operation of squaring a number. We need to take the square root. That will undo the squaring and leave us with just n. But if we take the square root of the left side of the equation, we have to take the square root of the right side of the equation. And now, are we taking the positive square root, the negative square root, or both the plus and minus square root? Well, think about the context of this problem. We're talking about the number of cars on the road. Can you have a negative amount of number of cars on the road? No, you can't have negative two cars on the road. You could either have zero or you can have positive numbers of cars on the road. So we want to take the positive or principal square root, just the square root of 169, to get our answer of 13. So n equals 13 is our answer. There's 13 cars on the road, making our answer choice A.